Hello there, my name is uh, Udonga Oto. I'm a political philosopher. As Uganda is preparing for the population census, there are issues that must be asked. There are questions that must be asked and we need answers. Because the moment we have this pen and we decide to divide it equally between two people, you get half, I get half. But the moment you want to get three quarters of it and you don't want me to talk, it means there is a problem in your head. So let me talk. The population census should help us resolve these issues. There is over-representation in this parliament. Some regions are over-represented. And these questions, we must face it as Ugandans. We must face it as Ugandans and we are not going to run away from it. Why is the population census very important? It's important, one, because under Article 193 of the Constitution, there is a formula which shows how money is divided. Y1 is equal to Y0 plus BY0 plus X1 divided by 1 plus BY0 X1. So the Constitution shows how money is to be divided. And money is divided according to the population of the people. Still, under Article 63 of the Constitution, it allows the Electoral Commission to demarcate the constituencies depending on the inhabitants. It means an area which is heavily populated. The Electoral Commission has powers to divide the constituency and create new units. But the issue is the Electoral Commission uses the data from Uganda Bureau of Statistics. So now we have a situation that there is over-representation. Some tribes are overrepresented in this parliament. Some regions are overrepresented in this parliament. Don't tell me that I am secretar secretarian. Article of the Constitution has listed our tribes. They have listed 65 tribes. They listed them in the Constitution, not because of sectarianism, but because of unity in diversity. So when today Honorable Uto is raising an issue that some tribes are overrepresented, it's not sectarianism. It's looking for fairness so that something is divided equally. First look at the composition of parliament per region at the time we left. Western region has 132 MPs at that time. Central region, 102 MPs. Northern region, 124 members of parliament. And Eastern Region, 144. The East is wide. It includes Bugisu, it includes Teso, it includes Karamoja. So that means automatically some regions are overrepresented in this parliament. And we hope and pray the population census will resolve this issue. Secondly, there is another dishonesty which is being exhibited at parliament. They don't provide the composition of parliament by tribes. They hide that information away. Just Google now and ask yourself. They don't. For certain tribes are not there. For some tribes are there. I managed to get this information from Europe. The composition of parliament. Now look at this. Ankole parliamentary group has over 50 MPs. 50 plus. We are still counting. 45 elected inside Ankole and several elected outside. Now let's compare it with other parliamentary groups that had more population than Banyankole in 1969. Actually, parliamentary group has 28 MPs. Those people have 50. Lao parliamentary group has 32 MPs. The others have 50. Teso parliamentary group, Teso, the most populous, the second most populous tribe in 1960, more than Banyankole, are 40 in parliament. So people, these things of people overcounting themselves and being represented in this parliament, overrepresented, is not fair. So we have overrepresentation. This parliament is not national. This is a fake democracy if we don't correct it using the population census. Now you may ask me, what did you do while you were in parliament? When I was in parliament, I brought a motion. Mr. Speaker, sir, that was Edward Sekandi. I said, the money we are sending, conditional and unconditional grants, 
to you to the local government some regions are getting more it is not fair they are using fake population statistics Right Honorable Edward Sekandi then put up a select committee led by the late Honorable Okecho. And we all went to that committee to submit. Unfortunately, the committee failed. It was frustrated. It was never given money to do the work. The first week we wasted time in defining what amounts to Western Uganda. So these issues have to be corrected by the population census. We are not going to be bullied. You will not bully us. You will not bully us unless we are not Ugandans. So you are more in the house. You are more everywhere. You are more everywhere. And you think we don't know. So the parliament is not national. It is serving a particular interest. So the, pop the population and housing census is the key to resolving all these issues. Otherwise, as Honorable Otto, I would even say this parliament of 557 MPs should be dissolved. Probably we need one MP per tribe, not per district, because they created also so many districts of their own. So many. They turned parishes into districts. Western Uganda has 39 districts, a small area like this. Eastern Uganda, a huge area, 40 districts. Northern Uganda, a huge area, bigger than Belgium, 41 districts. Central Uganda, 21 districts. So we cannot even use districts as a basis of determining the members of parliament. So the safest thing for now, in a transitional manner, is to have one MP per tribe. And there are 65 tribes listed in the constitution. So maybe one male MP and one female MP. In that way, we will have 130 members of parliament. So the issue of number, we should not, we should not rely on numbers to determine the members of parliament. If we make that mistake, we will be committing a foul. If we allow Uganda Bureau of Statistics to do what they are planning to do, we will even be committing a greater foul. So for now, the safest thing in transitional period is to use one MP per tribe so that we are all equal in that house. And then we can, now that house can decide on how we are going to count ourselves. Otherwise, I'm crying foul. Honorable Dr. Udongoto is crying foul. Something is not right. We are being treated as if we are not Ugandans. And these issues have to be attended to. So that parliament there of 557 MPs is a fake parliament. The composition is compromised. And strangely, it is not universal adult suffrage. Because if you are learned, you happen to be a lady, you happen to be a soldier, one person alone, you will have five representatives in the house. You'll have the youth MP, you'll have MPs for disability, you'll have MPs for workers, you have MPs for army, and then you have the woman MP, and then you have a constituency MP. There are some people who have six members of parliament in the house, and there are others who have only two. So all this is not right in relation to, to representation. So let the debate start. We have been cheated. These people are more, and they think we don't know. Thank you so much, and let the debate start. And thank you for listening.